Former Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis says that government must act on immigration crisis. Former Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis yesterday urged the Davis administration to immediately address a burgeoning immigration crisis fueled by what he termed a meltdown in Haiti. The former Prime Minister underscored growing fears that Bahamians will be outnumbered by irregular migrants, adding only a matter of time before illegals expand from shanty town to shanty houses. These are those controlled of our country. These have become second citizens in our own country. The immigration, we're, in a, we're experiencing a crisis with respect to immigration, just like crime. And Bahamians are frustrated, they're annoyed, and they are distressed. Former Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis weighing in on the country's immigration challenges today, calling on the Prime Minister to put forward a concrete plan on how the country will handle what he described as a deepening crisis. Dr. Minnis believes the growth of shanty towns on the family islands is cause for alarm, and he's calling for more investigations into the issuance of work permits as one part of an overall strategy. We need to know how many work permits New work permits especially were issued and what nationality. We need to know how many um, visitor visas were issued and what type of follow-up program or procedures that you have in place to ensure that they leave the country. Because we knew with respect to Haiti, the visa department was under investigation and in fact we had stopped issuing visa because we were investigating as to how many visas were being issued illegally. Now last week the Bahamian Contractors Association President Leonard Sands asserted that the construction industry would not survive if the government deports every single undocumented worker. Responding to that claim, Dr. Minnis says that during the previous government's tenure in office, there was a policy in place that blocked contractors who received government contracts from hiring undocumented migrants. He laments that this issue gives the Bahamas a bad look. What message are you sending to the world that the Bahamas is open for unregulated, undocumented individuals to come and help stabilize or maintain the construction industry? Thus, decreasing the um, money that are paid to national insurance because they're not documented, that's, in, that's increasing the challenges and the problems we have with national insurance, that's an indictment. And we as the FNM had a policy in place to ensure that that did not happen.